What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to upload data to S3 bucket without saving it into the file via lambda function. In the previous tutorial, we have seen that how we can upload a file from lambda function to S3 bucket. So basically, instead of dealing with file, we will deal with object in this tutorial. So here we will modify the lambda function code that we have updated in the previous tutorial and probably rest of the things will remain same. So let's get started. So as usual I have an EC2 instance running. So let me double check it. So as you can see, I have two instances, one is in terminated state and one is it in running state. So if you have any instances running, it's good. If not, please launch one so that uh, we can grab some logs in our Lambda function. So let's move on to the Lambda management console. And we will be modifying the same code or the code of the same function that we have created or using in the previous tutorials. So it is ec2 underscore status underscore straight. So I will navigate to that function probably in the function code panel. So this is the code that we have modified in the previous tutorial. So here we are uploading a file to S3 bucket but now we want to directly upload the data that we are getting in the status variable to the S3 bucket. So here I will be using the same S3 bucket that is layer hyphen release hyphen test. So we will modify this function. So let me go ahead and command these three lines which was basically creating a file into the temp directory and uploading that file to S3 bucket. So we will be using the same client service that is boto3.client as S3. So instead of using upload underscore file method we will be using put object here. So that is S3 dot put underscore object. So here in this method we will pass three parameters followed by the bucket name that is layer hyphen release hyphen test followed by the key name so key name uh, is the file name uh, that will be stored into the s3 bucket so i will say data hyphen log dot txt so the file will be created with this name into the S3 bucket and the body. So body, body basically accepts uh, two type of parameter that is one is bytes and one is uh, file stream. So here in this status variable we are getting the response as a dictionary. So we will convert that dictionary into the string. So we cannot pass uh, status directly. So I'll just show you what happens if I pass directly status. So I'll just save this function and test it. So as you can see, it has given us the error saying that parameter validation failed. So if we look here, uh, it says type classes dictionary but valid type basically it accepts is bytes and the byte array which is file like object. So let's go ahead and wrap it around the string function. Save it and let's test it again. So now it runs successfully. Let's go ahead and check the S3 bucket. So as you can see data-log.txt has been created right. So let's go ahead and download this file and quickly open it. So as you can see the logs has been uh, stored into the S3 bucket without creating any file. 
so here this is how we can upload the data directly to s3 bucket from lambda function without saying it into a file so that's it for now uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you